Hello, it's Susan here again. So I uh, ordered the new tools by the Dotting Center and uh, they arrived. And uh, look at that, I even got a little 10% coupon. Thank you, Rachel. So for my next order. And uh, in the little package here, you can see um, you get um, a card that shows you the size of the tools that you received and inside the packet on how to clean them and troubleshooting and whatnot. And a little surprise card. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, it is magnet, so I can put it up on my, um, my workbench there. Thanks. So for me to try out the new tools, I thought I would do a very simple little design. Here's the colors that I used. And at the end, I thought I added, I thought I would add some glitter, so that's what I used as well. So I had these cute little molds. Uh, I've put a link to them down below in description on where I got them from. They're small, I call them little mini domes. Um, I really like painting on them, they're so cute. And, uh, and there you can see it's a little bit of a dome. And I used the Happy Dotting Company small um, stencil. It's a 12 point stencil. And uh, what I did was I marked every other spot to get the six points. So for this video, I thought I would uh, do this in real time, um, opposed to speeding it up, just so you can watch the process a little uh, closer. I'm also showing you here two yellows. Um, I would just ignore what I've done here. I was going to do a nice sort of yellow gradient from a light to a dark, um, but then I, as I was going along, I realized oh, the stone is so tiny that it it's just not going to give me the look that I want. So for the other two stones, I did not do this. I just used bright yellow and just um, added um, white, added a bit of white for each layer. And so that's what I would recommend, but you do what works for you. Um, my paint was a little bit thick, so I just added some flow aid just to Thin it down a bit or you can even add a couple of drops of water you don't have to use the flow aid uh, so uh, this is the smallest tool in the set and uh, it makes for a good stir stick <laughs> um, so what I liked about it uh, is the number one is very pointy so it was really good for uh, doing either the really tiny dots or um, the swooshes I found making those little tails nice. So I'm just trying to decide on what tool to use for the center dot. I'm so used to using the DIY Mandela stone so I know pretty much uh, by instinct now what tool to grab but this is my first time using these so I wasn't quite sure. So you'll see me sizing these up a lot as I go along. Also, this first dot is not center, and I can see that very, very clearly here, um, but I just decided to keep on going. I didn't want to bother with the whole cleaning up. And in the end, you really don't notice it. I think I notice it more than anything. <laughs> just like my nails in this picture. Oh my goodness, I gotta go get them fixed growing fast because it's nearly summer. Okay, so I'm just placing the six dots and then I'll be putting one in between each one here. Um, what I found, uh, I, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through the sort of the pros and cons to what I like about these tools. And the one thing that I would like to see improved upon if Rachel does do a revision is to make the numbers um, 
either bigger or um, have them printed in white so that you can see them. And for me that's selfish reasons because um, in filming this I can't really see what the number is. Uh, and also when I was using them it was hard to see the numbers. Um, but I do love that they're color coded. I did find that the tools um, did clean very well. Um, I mean, you can see a little bit of um, the lighter color on the black. It's, the black is a little bit textured there, so it, it kind of gets in there. And I'm a funny duck, and that's enough just to bug me a little bit because when I like my tools clean, I like to see nothing there. <laughs> But really, it's no big deal. Um, uh, just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol or hand sanitizer in the end there to wipe them all down, and they do come very nice. Uh, so this is the same size tool that I'm using here, um, and just doing another row. And it, it's just creating the nice middle of the flower. Um, Today's tutorial is not going to be as detailed as my other ones, so I'm, I'm showing you the general design and you can see the tool colors. I might not always list the exact number because uh, it's either going to be one end or the other, <laughs> which is so great about the color coding. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said earlier, uh, it, it is hard for me to see uh, so I might not remember what what color or sorry what number I actually used um, but the red one is either one or two and then the next one up is the orange uh, so I think the next tool I probably used a four coming up here soon uh, so what else I liked about these tools is they're very nice to hold um, I have I have a fair amount of arthritis in my whole body and uh, it affects my hands quite a bit uh, so having a tool that I can hold uh, comfortably is really a huge selling point for me with these tools um, it's it feels like a silicone although I don't think Rachel said it is a silicone so the handle part, it is a little bit different kind of uh, material than the, the black tip there. Uh, so it, it feels very similar to a silicone and cleaning them, the paint just pops right off like a silicone. So that, that's a huge, huge thing that I like about them. Uh, and of course the color coding is, is really nice. Um, if you notice it's a rainbow, so they are laid out. Uh, in actual rainbow order too in size which is great So for this design, I'm going to be making six petals. I think it's one of my favorite um, type of uh, Mandela points uh, is the six point for a flower. It, it just reminds me so much of a flower. Um, it, it just looks so pretty to me. So that's kind of why I decided to do it this way. And I'm using blue here, and this is where, you know, I'm I'm just giving you the general layout. You can pick whatever colors you want. If you wanted to do pink, purple, green, yellow, orange, you know, you get the drift. <laughs> 
Um, and I like doing th groupings of odd numbers, so three, five. Um, I, I think they look nice when they're grouped that way. Uh, so this I did in the three colors like you saw in the picture. Here I'm doing my little cherry dot again. And I think this is a number four. Uh, so for this um, review, I decided to only use these tools. Um, I did not use any of my metal tip styluses for doing any of the tapering. I wanted to see if it's something that's feasible for someone that, you know, didn't necessarily want to buy the whole kit and caboodle with, with the other styluses. Um, so I used the number two to start off here. And I found I could dot all the way along. Uh, as long as your paint is thin enough. If your paint is a little bit on the thick side, your dots will probably start to go oval and a little more dried out towards the end. For the most part, other than the, the last two dots, uh, everything stayed nice and round. Uh, so unless you really zoom in, you, you won't notice. So I would say two thumbs up. This was good for doing a little taper. You might notice how I always seem to dot on the, the one side of those large dots on the right side. And I do that because I can see where my tool is landing. So that's why I kind of keep changing direction. Um, I find that works better than dotting blind for me. <laughs> I don't know if you can see uh, or notice that my little pinky on my right hand is resting on my thumb. And I do this a lot um, for just a little extra stability. Uh, if they're on a smaller surface like this one, um, it's hard to put my pinky on the rock. So uh, it works well um, doing it this way. I do get a little bit shaky sometimes, so um, you know, having a good anchor this way by using your pinky uh, does help keep the, stop, or the dots from going stray. So 
So back to the tool review. Uh, one of the other things I thought was kind of uh, neat about having that spot there for your hand to hold on to is if you're working on a surface that is slippery, like a wood table or something, um, I think this is really going to help your tools from not rolling around on the table and landing on the floor. Um, or in my case, a cat coming along and knocking it off. <laughs> so I, I, do, I do really like the thoughtful design of these tools. As I am just uh, winging this design as I'm going along here, uh, you can see me sort of holding the rock here and there and thinking about, well, what do I want to do next? Because I, I try to pull most of my inspiration just from my brain here. <laughs> um, so here I'm just seeing if I'm going to be able to do some, some swooshes with the, the red tool and what they will look like and and I really recommend you know giving things sort of a dry run on a piece of black cardstock uh, just to see what it's gonna going to look like uh, and I'm just sort of figuring out well what size I want so I'm going to use I'm going to use this orange tool and I used number four and uh, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see that I, I load up that first dot quite a bit and then with this number one, um, I'm able to drag it right down. Uh, so I do like the number one tool it, it, and I'll continue to use it, I'm very sure, uh, just for this purpose of being able to pull my dots down. And, uh, and this is number two. Uh, just using just that and pulling it in it looked it, sorry it worked just great no complaints at all uh, when I was talking about design um, and pulling ideas from my mind um, I am going to backtrack a little bit on this one. Um, originally, I was really um, inspired by um, another dot artist by the name of Shelley Dombrowski. Uh, she posted on Mandela World dot art, and I really uh, liked her little trio of flowers. So that was my inspiration for doing a little trio of flowers. So I'll um, clarify that. And I, um, I messaged her because I really liked her white one and I have a, a very large daisy garden and I, I wanted to um, see if she'd be, allow me to recreate her white one and uh, she was very generous and, and allowed me to do that. And uh, so, but for, for the sake of a, my tutorial here, I wanted a, a, new, a new design. I certainly would never want to recreate her design and and claim it as my own so I did want to just clarify that so um, but I wanted to, to definitely give a shout out to Shelly because she's such a great little artist there um, and uh, and thank her for the inspiration to do these So now I'm going to be doing more swooshing with uh, these tools and uh, I picked a rather large one to do a, a large green petal coming out from the flower 
and uh, I do believe this is number eight. And um, being like a lot of you recently inspired by um, Mandela Vista and her very lovely swooshing designs, um, I thought I would try and um, do this first petal in a little bit more of a shape like, uh, like she does. Sort of a rather large teardrop um, and I'll be doing like a little cluster six clusters of um, green sort of green leaves um, coming out from behind the flower is kind of what I was thinking and uh, and like I said earlier uh, I don't know that I will be posting here the actual number on the tool um, but you should be able to figure it out easy enough here as we go along. Uh, this is the orange tool and uh, I believe on either side I'd use number six here. And uh, so just I'm going to stop some of the commentary now for a little while and you can just dot along. I'm keeping everything in real time just so you can dot along with me. And uh, I'll cut back in in a little bit.
there's that part of the petals or the leaves I should say and uh, now I'm going to add uh, one more swoosh it's hard to say that swoosh <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna use uh, tool number six and I'm just gonna put a generous dot uh, trying to keep uh, equal space on either side there and, and then I'll use the number one and, and drag that down. So oh, time for some top dots and I will be doing, I think it's three layers um, and then sparkles on top, optional. <laughs> uh, so each layer I will just be adding some white to the, to the underlying color. So with the yellow I'll be making um, a gradual um, lighter yellow as I keep going up to a white and then uh, the same for the blue and I'll be doing uh, one layer over top of the green and in your designs this is uh, one one way of doing top dots that really creates a very pretty depth uh, by going from a dark to a light um, a little thing with with color theory um, for shading and highlighting whenever you add well I, I believe this is the theory but f for me um, well a little backstory my first career I was a makeup artist and so for using light and dark colors to create different effects so I would use a light color to create um, a highlight on the eyebrow and uh, it makes things look more uh, protruding like uh, coming out so when I transfer that theory over to my dot painting the lighter 
I go as I'm building it creates more of a, a domed effect like the uh, like it makes it look like it's sticking out where if I go from a light color to a darker color it looks like it's receding and going inward um, so uh, you know, like in cosmetics, if you use a darker color for contour, it looks like it's going in. So that's how how I kind of look at things uh, when I'm creating my dot art designs. Is do I want to give the illusion that something is being raised or going down and receding? I don't know <laughs> if that makes sense, but um, this is why I I like to do sort of white top dots on. On some of my designs because it, it just gives it a little kiss on the top. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay, here's another example where I'm bracing my hand against my thumb there. You can see that. My thumb is supporting my right hand to try and steady it. And um, as you paint along and you are doing your own art, um, it it's sometimes tricky when you're first starting out as a daughter to get those top dots really, really centered. So develop some tricks of your own that help you brace your hand uh, to get that placement as dead center as you as you can. Um, so just little tricks that you'll learn along the way. So mixing the paint here for the petals, or <laughs> there I do it again, the leaves. I think I made it too white or too light there, so just adding a bit more green. And uh, you know, usually two or three shades lighter uh, will do the trick. So something I probably uh, could have brought up uh, earlier in the video is um, the tool size um, 
you've probably been using um, anything from DIY Mandela Stones to Happy Dotting Company or uh, crochet hooks. Um, there's just so many tools out there now on the market. Um, but lucky for us, we have some very talented ladies and gentlemen out there that are have been able to create some conversion charts. So um, if you decide, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stick with my DIY, um, um, but you, you, know, you want to try and replicate what I've done here, um, you can get these conversion, conversion charts on Etsy. And Erin uh, Ridley uh, has a very thorough one. Uh, or my good friend Erin uh, from Poppy Rocks. Uh, they're both on Etsy and very affordable. Uh, I believe Erin has just added, Erin uh, from Poppy Rocks, uh, has just added the, the new dotting, the dotting center tools. Uh, and, um, onto her chart. Uh, I think she's also got a few others on there and um, probably sure that uh, the other Erin, <laughs> Erin Ridley, uh, will be or has not, if she has not done already, um, added them onto hers uh, as well. So um, I think I've put a, or I do believe I've put a link to uh, one on in my description down below. It's getting a bit later in the day here for me, so I'm getting a little bit fatigued. So if I, if I sound a little bit uh, brain foggy, it's because I am. Uh, I have a condition called ehlers Danlos. I've mentioned it before. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody knew that. And an autoimmune condition. So uh, I do my best work in the morning when my, my brain is nice and clear. And now it's uh, about supper time and latter part of the day I well midday and onwards I start getting a bit foggy so doing the best I can here for you I uh, hope you are uh, enjoying uh, my videos and uh, we'll see what the future holds so what I can create next um, I do really well if people um, give me suggestions on what they'd like to see and uh, I get excited to try and, and help them and make something for them so uh, please feel free to send me a message if there's uh, something that you'd like to see I'm more than happy to try and give it a go if I can So if I was to, well, I am, <laughs> I am giving these tools a review and I think for me, they're sitting at about a nine out of 10. And I would have given them a 10 out of 10 if it weren't for just trying to see that number. And I don't know if that's just because of my age um, or, or what, that I would like to be able to see that number a little better. Um, 
I was very excited when DIY Mandela Stone dotting tools came out with the bigger sizes just for that reason. So, um, but you know, having these color coded certainly makes, makes up for that. So maybe a nine and a half out of 10. What do you guys think? Should I just give her a 10? I don't know. I'm, I'm liking them. And I, you know, going forward, I'll use them. I um, had a fun little paint date today with my friend uh, Aaron from Poppy Rocks, and I got to use the the pink tool here, the number fourteen, to make some really large dots. So it was fun, fun to sit and paint in the sun uh, with COVID and all. It's been so long since we've had that in person opportunity here in. Um, I'm in Victoria, BC, Canada, and uh, you know, like many places, our numbers are really bad for so long, so we couldn't hang out with our, you know, friends at all. So it was so great to paint. Uh, so the other question: What do you think about this um, dotting a recording in real time? Was it was it useful or not? Would you rather me speed them up? make a shorter video let me know uh, leave your comments uh, below again thank you so much for following along and uh, so here's the three done all, all basically the same pattern except for that yellow and in my final version uh, I threw on some sparkle because I just have to have sparkle <laughs> thanks again for watching